I'm Jennifer Swarthout from Jagged Edge Acrylics. You're watching Art Creation TV. Welcome to part two of our ocean painting video. Today I'm going to show you how to do the beach for our ocean and then we'll be done. So continue to watch. I hope you have fun. Okay, so I have added a couple colors to our palette. I've added some yellow ochre. I've added some Van Dyke Brown and I've added some black. So the, the four colors that we're going to be using today are titanium white, yellow ochre, Van Dyke Brown, and midnight black. With the one inch brush, I am going to do an underpainting because we don't have any medium down here. This is a dry canvas. This is not wet on wet. On the outside, I'm going to work in the Van Dyke Brown Moving toward the center, I am going to pick up some yellow ochre. Now I'm not going to wash the brush in between here because I think it is important for the brown and the yellow ochre to blend. I'm going to come further towards the middle. And as we come closer to the middle, our sand is going to get lighter. Now right in the center here, I am going to add some white, and this is where the sun really starts to shine onto the sand. With a clean, dry brush, we're going to grab a paint and pull it down. It shows reflection in the sand. Makes our sand really look wet. And then blend it across. And that is how we get reflection in the sand. Now with our palette knife, we're going to grab a little bit of white and pull it out straight. We're going to take it and we're going to cut right across it so that we pick up a little roll of paint. You can see that. You pick up a little roll of paint. Now there are plenty of other palette knives on the market that you could use for this. Um, and honestly, any one of them would work. But today we're going to use a number one. I'm going to come up here and you're going to push extremely hard because that's the only way that you're going to get that roll of paint to come off onto this canvas. And what we're doing here is we are laying down foam from this wave. Now this wave has just finished washing up on shore. And another one's coming in. With a clean, dry fan brush, we're going to grab the back of this foam and pull back. You don't want to lose this hard edge here. You just want to blend it away. Just want to blend the back of it out. As I said in the last video, this wave is crashing extremely high, 
because I'm going to add a rock there. The rocks are fairly simple. I'm going to start out with some, some of the brown on the palette knife. The little roll, just like we did with the white here. And I'm going to put in a random shape for my rock. And then I'm going to grab some yellow ochre and a little bit of white. And I'm going to mix the paint so that it's marbly. I don't want it completely mixed because then I'll lose the effect of all the sun hitting it. Now remember, our light source is coming from this direction, so I want to keep my bright white, my bright highlights on this side. Now just like we did with the sand, I'm going to show reflection of this rock. Now you can grab any brush that you want, preferably one that's flat. Just go ahead and grab the very bottom of your rock and pull straight down. This is creating reflection underneath the rock. I'll wipe any excess paint off of your brush and come across the bottom. Now I am going to go ahead and put another rock up over here. And then I think we'll probably end up calling this painting done. Now once again, I'm going to pull down for my reflection and over. And I think maybe we should have a little bit of this foam coming around in front to add even more dimension to your foam patterns. You can take your liner brush or your number three round brush. Thin down some black paint with your odorless turpentine or your odorless paint thinner. And come right underneath this paint, this white ridge that you've created with your palette knife. And outline under that with a thin line of black. I've added a couple birds in the sky for interest. All that's left to do is sign it and we'll have a finished painting. Thank you very much for joining me at part two of the Ocean Wave series. Part three will be a demonstration on how to transfer these techniques into the spray paint art. I upload a new video every week, so stay tuned for more art awesomeness. I'm Jennifer Swarthout. Have a great day.